and the Good Brown Earth by Kathy Henderson. When Graham went to the vegetable patch, Joe came too. It was nearly winter. Now's digging time, said Graham, and she picked up her spade and dug that ground into big old lumps. Joe dug too. He made a hole and a heap and a squashy place for squelching in. And the good brown earth got on with doing what the good brown earth does best. Next time Graham went to the vegetable patch, Joe came too, and there was snow on the ground. Joe ran and jumped and slid and whooped. Graham stood and looked. Now's thinking time, said Graham, thinking about all the things in her gardening book. Joe thought too. He thought up a snowman. Next time Graham went to the vegetable patch, Joe came too, and there was spring in the air. Now's planting time, said Graham, and she raked out the loose earth, smooth as breadcrumbs, and planted seeds in long straight rows. Joe planted too, lots of seeds, here, there, who knows where. And the good brown earth got on with doing what the good brown earth does best. Next time Graham went to the vegetable patch, Joe came too, and the birds were singing, the trees were flowering, and the rain and the sun were chasing each other across the sky. Now's watching time, said Graham, keeping an eye on those hungry birds, and she made a scarecrow and stuck it in the ground. Joe watched too. Graham, Graham, he shouted, there are green spikes coming up. Next time Graham and Joe went to the vegetable patch, it was green all over. Now's weeding time, said Graham, and she picked up her long-handled hoe and scrubbed up all and grubbed up all those weeds between her vegetable rows. Joe pulled up a few weeds too. At least he hoped they were weeds. Then he rolled in the long grass and sang. Next time Graham and Joe went to the vegetable patch, it was hot, hot, hot. The plants were drooping and the earth was dry. Uh-oh, said Graham, now's watering time. And she hooked up the hose to the old tap and ran it on the plants, sweet as rain. Joe watered too, mainly himself, and he gave Graham the second ripe strawberry. Soon Joe's ma and pa took the whole family to the beach and Grandma and Joe went too. Now's resting time, stretching out for a snooze. The sun shone and the breeze blew. And the good brown earth got on with doing what the good brown earth does best. Day after golden day until the next time Graham went to the vegetable patch and Joe came too, of course, what did they find? Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. There were Graham's plants standing tall and ripe and lush. And there were Joe's higgledy-piggledy, tangly, fantastic. Joe jumped up and down and hugged and hugged and hugged his own Graham tight. But what? But how? But who? asked Joe. Graham hugged him back. You'd have to ask the good brown earth, she said. Then she took her long pronged fork and opened up the ground and there were pale brown potatoes like buried treasure and carrots and parsnips and beets. 
Now's gathering time, said Graham, filling her basket. And Joe gathered too, beans and greens, ladybugs and grasshoppers, dandelions and fat tomatoes. And he ate so many blackberries that purple juice ran all down his chin. And when they'd finished gathering, Graham and Joe loaded up the wheelbarrow and set off home, ready for feasting time. And the good brown earth got on with doing what the good brown earth does best.